Hey y'all, welcome back to Poor Choices. I'm B. It's your girl Mel. And we're back like we never left. favorite outfit low-key high-key let's tell the people why we're so stinking comfy today so this is a netflix and chill girls night in episode so our wines and our snacks match that is because secretly during this pandemic what y'all doing anyways drinking in your comfy clothes ain't nowhere to go so we just doing what you're doing right now this is honestly what we was doing before we came here so um so this week we have the big six wine it was aged in bourbon so you know it's gonna be a bad bitch. Um, at 15.1% alcohol, um, you kinda can't beat it. It was $14, so not too costly, but definitely not the Friday before payday wine. Um, yeah, you're gonna need to eat something heavy with this one, cause it didn't come to play. So this wine, I'm most excited to try. Not only have both of us never tried it before, this show is 15.1% alcohol. Um, it's a heavy hitter. It's in case you not didn't know. here to play. And neither are we. So, without any further ado, clink me, please. Okay, so low key, high key, high key. I have had the, I feel like the Cabernet or the Zinfandel, they have another one that um, is also aged for three months in bourbon barrels, which is why the alcohol volume is so high. The smell of it is so comforting. And like, it's strong. The aromas it are really warmed, strong. Just, just the smell of it warmed my chest. Like, oh. put, some, put some hairs there. So, um, when the wine is aged in bourbon barrels, not only does it give it a higher alcohol content, you also pick up flavors of like oak and vanilla, that woodsy, earthy kind of tone. The other wine we have today is Liquid Popsicle. It's a sweet red, and when I say sweet, I mean sweet. Literally tastes like a popsicle melted into your glass. Get you some. 13% um, alcohol volume, and what's even better, it was only $7.99. You can buy multiple bottles of this. So the snack for this week, we have a smorgasbord, come through vocabulary, of items. We got the barbecue for, you know, our savory. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm and the chocolatey trail mix with the pretzels and the Keebler elves and the caramel popcorn, M&Ms and things to really accentuate the popsicleness of the other wine. What more snacks do you need for a girl's night in? And we back, like we never been left with this bomb popsicle and my homie to my left. Hey, my homie to my left. Right. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. So liquid popsicle, um, it's supposed to be a summer wine, but I feel like it's really sweet and fruity and flirty and cute and it will work for a girl's night. And it's bomb, it's super sweet. Mm, um, definitely smells a lot sweeter than that first one. Strong, strong notes of cherry. Right, cherry it tastes cheese. like juice. Like, which can be dangerous, once again, the fact that it's an easy drink. You can easily have several glasses of this. This before. followed up that one beautifully. The the robustness of that other wine is complemented wonderfully by the sweetness in this one. It's not overly sweet though. It doesn't give you syrupy. It's a comforting sweet. It's a very comfortable sweet. Wow, I am lit, guys. And it was the first wine that really did it. <laughs> All right, let's have it with our snacks. Shout out to the 13% alcohol volume. Why did these wines not come to play with us like this? Like, why would y'all ever do that? But if you gonna be sitting at home with your friends, why not get lit? 13 and 15.1? I am drunk. I'm so here for this combination. The sweet, with the sweet. Make you wanna beat your feet. Mmm, you got all the bars today. I do. <laughs> you got all the bars. These chips, chips are chippier than I remember. They're hard. That was just me. No. <laughs> Is that why we don't take Pringles out of the container? I don't know. Because we don't start. They got a hell of a crunch to them. 
Now I'm crying. <laughs> I'm like, why is this chip chipping so hard right now? Me. What was you gonna say? <laughs> what was you gonna say? <laughs> she don't even know. I think she was gonna say when you be chewing, but we'll see. <laughs> it don't matter. We be eating chips. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it was a lie. A recent chip combination that I really enjoy. Hmm. The have you seen the cheddar cheese cheddar popcorn with the caramel popcorn bags? Ugh! It tastes like feet. No, they don't. Mm -mm. It tastes like feet. <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious. <laughs> I'm just saying. You are ready for that one? Oh, she's mad at me. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I was telling Mish about this tequila aged Chardonnay that our cousin David, shout out, hey David, I see you, that he gave me. And it was so smooth, but like one of those, just like now where like you just looked up and you were drunk. Mm, I like those. Surprise me. Like you go to stand up and I was like, whoa, whoa, roller coaster. <laughs> if I had to compare the two, I might lean more toward the liquid popsicle just because it's kinder to the tongue. Hey y'all, hey, it's B. I'm back, I got wine, we're back. We got snacks, we're gonna play Would You Rather. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere, bye. So, the game that we're playing is called Would You Rather and it's basically just two questions of which one you find more desirable, this one or that one, this one or that one. So, straight off the gate, Mish, I think you should go first. The questions are, would you rather lose one eye or lose one ear? I'm a go, can I still hear? No. If I can still hear. You, don't have a, you can't hear without an ear, Mish. Yes, you can. If you physically do not have an ear, that means you physically do not have an ear canal no, for that ear, no. which means you cannot, you don't even have the mechanics to hear. No, well, you either way, hear. I would lose one ear over one eye. At least I could kind of like pull my hair down over it and you guys would never even know. Yeah, same. I don't want to be Fetty Wapper. As opposed to one eye. eye. No offense to Fetty Wapper. Or you would do the Aaliyah swoop. I don't want to be Fetty Wapper. You have a bang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> would you rather have baby arms for a year or have a baby head for a year? Oh, if I have baby arms. Oh, how would I reach things? But if I had baby head, I would look like that guy from Beetlejuice with the little bitty green head. <laughs> and I don't know. That's why I laugh because that's what I thought of. I don't know if I'm comfortable with either of those options. Um, you go with the head. No. I still gotta be. I'm gonna just go with the glass. baby arms, and then I can wear all my jackets super draped and cute like that. How would you get your wine glass though? I'll just have you feed it to me. <laughs> so you're dependent. Okay. Would you rather have a lightsaber? Or have a personal assistant. Personal how assistant. You, fuck out of here. How do you get this? What is even a lightsaber? I don't know what that like is. Like the that, that does not does not compute. Who is that man? <laughs> <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi. Sorry to this man. <laughs> Darth don't Vader. Know, I Darth don't. Vader. I don't know who that man is. Oh okay. Go. <laughs> I would. Would you rather eat a zombie or be eaten by a zombie? I would rather eat a zombie. I would season and saute the fuck out of that bitch because if you get eaten by a zombie, then you automatically become a zombie. And I'm not here for that living life as a zombie life. That's gross. All those, of those are your only two options, friend. I guess I'll eat one. If you kept all your seasonings from like the before four time, you could you could eat a zombie. You could fillet that bitch. But they're so oh. you don't know. No, that's just your preconceived notion of what a zombie is. Meat is like that too until you cook it. Would you rather never see your family for one year and never see your friends for one year? Oh, my family are my friends. I was just gonna so never see my friends. <laughs> Bye, friends. See y'all. Hit me on Instagram. See y'all next year. <laughs> hey, mom, what you doing? <laughs> yeah, my family is my friends. Yeah, and I like them a lot. See. And just like that, it's been another episode of Poor Choices. Poor Choices. I like your harmony. Thank you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit us up in the comments down below. Tell
tell us what your favorite Pringle flavor is. Um, tap the bell so you don't miss when we drop again. Ding a ling a ling. And follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. Because now we're on TikTok. <laughs> All that poor choices. It's been fun, guys. And bye.